them and keep them, dear Master, in your arms of protection and safety, yes. dear God. And we're asking, dear Father God, that you bless the communities, dear please, Master, please. and our societies and those, dear Father God, that 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 that, that need you at this hour. Yes. And God, Master, let your man servant, that one that is going to come this morning, and bring part of your holy divine word. Please, Father. Let him speak so boldly, dear Master, that some man, woman, boy, or girl may ask, what is it that I need to do to become a part of that uh, Christian band, that Christian uh, unity, that Christian group of folks that says that for God I live and for God I die. Bless him just more than dear Father as he blessed him. Bless your word. Bless his family and all that he do, dear master. Yes. And we say this prayer in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Bless you. Amen. We certainly want to thank Minister Anderson for uh, prayer on this morning. Uh, we thank God for him and all that uh, he does. And he is a great sister and associate and great friend and we certainly appreciate that. The Lord is my shepherd. I was able to arise from a slumbering sleep. The Lord is my shepherd. I had a little something to eat on this morning when I got it. The Lord is my shepherd. Some kind of shelter over my head. The Lord is my shepherd. Some kind of transportation to take me to and fro. The Lord is my shepherd. I am now present. Whether I'm at home or I'm sitting in the audience or I'm with some friends or family, I'm present. So the Lord is my shepherd. I want to again on this morning certainly want to and thank all of our first responders, those who uh, put their lives on the line every day. We, we thank God for you, uh, all that you do and all that you continue to do. We ask that God continue to bless you uh, in the efforts that you are doing. If you have your Bibles this morning for just a few moments, uh, out of Matthew, the chapter is 8. This is a familiar text, and we're just going to draw a couple of points out of the lesson, and then the lesson will be yours. The verses are 23 through 27. Matthew, chapter is 8. In the New Testament, And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest or a great storm in the sea. Insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, and he was asleep. And his disciples came to him, awake him, saying, Lord, uh -huh. save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why are ye fearful? O ye of little faith. Then he arose and Rebuked the winds and the sea. There was a great calm. But the men marveled, saying, What man of man is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? Just for a few moments, I want to talk from a subject. What do you do when stuff? happens. What do you do when, 
when stuff happens. Webster said stuff is just filling in or, or uh, something to just rubble. But what do you do when stuff happens? It's common knowledge that stuff happens because we live now in a very difficult and tough times right now. We live in a state of mind that where we're scared, we're afraid, COVID on one side, protest on the other side, world in chaos. This is why I raise the question, what do we do when stuff happens? Stuff, world <laughs> has stuff going on. Stuff is in our states and in our cities. It's in our towns. It's in our neighborhoods. In our families. Protests, COVID-19. Injustice. Racism. Hatred. Problems with children. Uh, husband problems. Wife problems. Money problems. Health problems. Everybody got some stuff. Married folk have stuff. Now we are at home and uh, <laughs> when both husband and wife work and now they're at home with children. Sometimes it causes stresses. Problems come out of it. Single folk have stuff. Rich folk, poor folk, all of us have some stuff going on. The devil loves it uh, when he sees you in a panic mode. Let me say that again. I said the devil really likes it when he sees you in a panic mode. Because he knows that every time you get in a panic mode, uh, he knows that I've got you in my clutches. Uh, every time you you fear, and when you fear, you lose uh, your ability to think. Uh, when you uh, face with stuff, you lose uh, the ability uh, to think aggressively, and you tend to forget. The mind goes blank. Y'all ever been there? And you go thoughtless. That's why when you get in a panic, you don't know which way to turn or which way to go. Because the mind goes blank. Now, his disciples, I wish I had time to deal with that. I said his disciples, those who followed him, those who supposedly to know him, when panic occurred, the mind went blank. They couldn't have a, a process. What shall we do? And they went down and they woke up Jesus. And I don't want to take the text out of the city. Because we come to find out at the end of the text that they really didn't know who he was. Okay. What manner of man is this? But would you just follow me and come to my house for a few moments? Come to my house for a few moments. What if, Lord, I rest it, these people that were on the ship, uh, uh, if they call themselves true believers. And I ask myself the, my question for me, you know, what would I do if something like this occurred? What would I do in the, in the midst of, of COVID? What would I do in the midst of all the protests? What would I do in a family emergency? What would I do? I, so I, I found myself that uh, I, I must know how to overcome or when the storm come upon me. Because every life uh, has a storm in it. If you just wait for a little while, uh, storm will come your way. I said every household and every life uh, has some kind of storm in it. Uh, and right now, I believe that everybody, you don't hear me right now, 
out of everybody is in some kind of storm. We, we wear a mask and we stay at home. We wash our hands. What are you doing? We wipe things down. Why? Because we find ourselves in a, a storm. So what do I do uh, when the stuff happens? I said, now if I were there on the ship, uh, I began to think back. I said, well, they didn't know God. And I said to myself, I know God. I say to myself, uh, I am a believer. Yeah. And I look around at the sun. I said, there is a God. I look at the moon and there is a God. And my heart is still pumping. And I'm like, there is a, a God. But I said, well, what would I do <laughs> in a case that I was caught up out in a storm? Because they found themselves out there on the Sea of Galilee. Uh, mountains around. They could not see the storm coming. They're behind the mountains. So when the storm got there, the storm was already on them. That's how they panicked. Uh, you see, well, sometimes you can see a storm way off uh, and I can get ready for the storm. Uh, I go to the storm cellar or I go in my bathroom. Uh, I put a mattress or pillow in my head. I can get ready. But every now and that's a storm called uh, that you don't even know they're coming. And when you find yourself, uh, you're in the middle uh, of a storm. Uh, it's not like that. Uh, uh, this text somebody said, you know what? I found myself in the middle uh, of a storm. Uh, I find, when I looked up, the storm uh, was already there. So I found myself in the the storm. Yes. So I asked myself the question, okay, you disciples, that's what the Bible called them. I wish I had time right here. They called them disciples. <laughs> What's wrong with y'all disciples? They begin to run around and they're running from one side to the other. What are we going to do? Why now? It's getting no into your boat. I just said something. Y'all can just say. I said the water now is getting no into your boat. As long as the COVID was somewhere else. Right. You better preach this morning. Preach something. As long as it was somewhere else. As long as the problems uh, uh, that neighbors and others are having. Uh, and it's not in my house. Uh, you know why I'm so compassionate? Because I've been there. I've been through some storms. Uh, that's why people that have been through storms. They can put their arms around. Uh, say hold on. Uh, God's going to bring you through it. Why? Because they've been through some storms. Uh, so now they find themselves running to and fro. Somebody can go down there and wake up Jesus. Yeah. And they woke up Jesus. Let me, let me, let me just change this here a little bit. What if it was me? Now, so you say you know Jesus? Right. <laughs> Mr. Anderson just prayed. I, I, anybody can pray like that. He knows Jesus. Many of you out there say, you know Jesus. So what should have happened uh, on the ship uh, if you know Jesus? You see, when you're caught in a storm and you panic, you lose your way. <laughs> the Bible says, you go back and read it, it says, his disciples followed him. These are not strangers. These are not people that they never heard of. It's his disciples that's following him. Let's talk about the three R's. The three R's. Three R's. What do you do when stuff happens? Number one, the problem that they had. Remember who you are. Woo! I wish I had time to stay right there. Just that's good. When you get into a storm, the first thing you need to remember is who. You are. So many of us say, wait a minute, wait a minute. We need to remember who God is. No, 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 no. See, God stands all by himself. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry. <laughs> God is almighty. I ain't never worried about God. If there's any letdown, it ain't on God's part. It's always on my part. God can take care of this business. So, so, so let me, let me take you this a little bit. Okay, preacher, pastor, <laughs> you in the storm now. You call me this storm. You call me this whirlwind. Now, what you going to do? The first thing that average, <laughs> every person ought to do is remember who you are. I'm God's child. <laughs> Let me say that. I said, I'm God's child. I know it's rough. I, I know it's tough. I know COVID-19 is out there. I know it's protests 
us. But you got to remember, I'm God's child. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You're going to make a shout when you come in. What happened? I'm God's child. Who are you? I'm God's child. You know, when, when, when uh, executives and, and, and councilmen and senators are coming, when they walk into a restaurant, when they tell you, uh, there are no more tables available. I'm sorry, we'll, we'll feel there are no more tables. Uh, but when that, that congressman walks up in there, you know, you know what they do? Uh, congressman, come on down. Come on down. Mayor, come on down. Come on down. We got a place for you. Why? Because of the, the, who they are. And when I <laughs> look at the storm that's going on, and tell the storm, do you know who? <laughs> ah! Do you know who I am? Have you looked at COVID and said, yeah, you tell me, do you know who I am? <laughs> when you let it all that happened in the injustice, can you say, do you know who I am? Yeah. I know it's tough, but do you know who I am? Some people that just wear it to death. Oh, woe is me. Oh, Lord, oh, woe is me. Uh, remember who you are. Remember. Somebody says, oh, you're talking big, you know. You wait till your, your refrigerator gets empty. My refrigerator may get empty. My freezer may get empty. But guess what? I'm not going to lose no weight. <laughs> Somebody's going to catch up on the way to McDonald's. I ain't going to lose no weight because God will provide for me. I know who I am. Remember who you are. Listen, this is Peter said. Peter said, let me remind y'all. What you going to say, Peter? Well, number one, he says, you are chosen generation. That's one. They like that one would have been good enough. Number two, let's take this right here. A royal priest too. Y'all don't know who I am. Then he said, you are a holy nation. That's three. Y'all gonna get the picture here in a minute. And the fourth one, you are a peculiar folk. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> you know what? Uh, uh, folk don't understand you. <laughs> you peculiar. You strange. You're going through something, <laughs> and you always say, I'm all right. <laughs> yeah, look like the sky is falling, <laughs> and you say, hey, it's going to be all right. <laughs> you are going to kill you for I've been watching you. <laughs> when you come to work, you always got a smile on your face. Yeah, they done cut your hours in half. You only make half the money you used to, and you still smile. Oh, you're peculiar. You come to me, and I'm doing better than you are. Hey, man, I'm doing fine. How you doing? You are peculiar. First of you act peculiar. You talk peculiar. You walk peculiar. Uh, you know, remember who you are. Remember who you are. That's how. You fight the devil, yet the devil likes the pain. He likes all that's going on. But you tell the devil, let me tell you something. You just don't know who I am. Right. See, if you know who I am, you back off. Really, really back off when you don't know who I am. I'm God's child. If I'm God's child, it may be rough right here. But by the time they get over here, it'll be all right. I'm God's child. You can't figure him out. He, he'll add something to subtract. He'll subtract something to add. He'll multiply to divide. He'll divide to multiply. You can't figure God out. His ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. Uh, you just got to know. You just need to remember who you are. That's what you do. Number one, when stuff happens to you, what you're going through. And I don't know what's happening in your life and what you're going through in your house. But remember who you are. I'm God's child. And folks down the street will look at you. Folks on your job will look at you strange because you peculiar. And I ain't talking about acting crazy. Ha! Please, what I'm saying? 
I got my acting crazy, but I'm not being peculiar in a way that it draws the attention of other people of who you are. They'll say, it's something about that man. It's something about that woman. It's something about that child. Why? They have to remember who you are. I'm a chosen generation. I'm royal uh, priesthood. Oh, Lord, I'm a, I'm a holy nation. Uh, I'm a peculiar person. Number one, remember who you are. Number two, remember who you're with. Remember who you're with. Doesn't it feel good if you ever go to a restaurant and you are with someone that you don't have to worry about the bill? Please one day. You ever done? You know the feeling when you walk in and you go there and you, you, you pick up that menu. Lord, I bless it. You pick up that menu and you start looking at the menu. You know what they say to you? You know what they say to you? Order what you want. Ha! Remember who you with. Order what you want. You know what I do? I start looking at the prices. Mm -hmm. Then I start looking at the food that I want. Why are you doing that? Because of who I am. With. Remember who you're with. Well, the power is that, that when you're with someone of status, that status overshadows you. Y'all will catch it on the way back. <laughs> that status overshadows you. Back in the day, some of you can remember this, when, when, when uh, they were sending children to the store, you know, they would go to the store and get some bread or get some flour, get this. And, and, the, and, the, and the little young lady, little girl or boy, they would go up there and they would say to the proprietor, Mrs. Jones, my mama said she needed some flour. Go back there and get your flour. Why would he do that? See, when you are with somebody, when you are with God, you don't have to worry about the rest of the stuff that comes along. Come, see, see, that's how I roll. I roll with God. I roll with God. Remember who you with. You remember what the Bible said? Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. And I like this. He said, I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. I ain't going nowhere. I'm there with you. I got your back. God said, I got your back. Oh, this is COVID-19. God said, I got your back. You don't know what's going on now. Yes, God knows all about it. I got your back. Remember who you are with. Disciples, you, you say you're drowning. You say you're going down. Don't you remember who's down in the hell of the ship? Don't you remember Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We are here, we are here. But we got Jesus down here in the ship. We need to remember who we are with. We need to remember that we got God on our ship. I got to remember I got God in my life. He's the head of my life. And even the waves are coming in up here, there's somebody down there that I'm with that makes me all right. I, I, you all right. I'm all right because I know who's on the ship. I'm all right because I, I know who's got my back. I'm all right because I know God is with me. So they said, well, you know what I need to do? We need to go back. Go down. Wake up Jesus. <laughs> because they had forgotten who they were. Somebody uh, touched somebody else and said, don't you know that we have Jesus down in the hull of the ship? Don't you know? Water is coming over. Life is coming over into your house and into your life. But, but don't you know that Jesus is down there in the hull of the ship in the bottom of my life? What was going on up here? That God is down there. So somebody went down there and began to wake up Jesus. Now y'all understand who you with. Do 
Do you understand? Who are you with? Let me wake up Jesus. See, so many of us need to wake up Jesus in our life. Ha! I just said something. You better preach right here. Huh? See, the problem is, we are not waking up Jesus in our life. You got Jesus, but Jesus is asleep in your life. Go down and wake up Jesus in your life. Tell your disaster. Tell whatever's going on. But you know what? I, I just remember who I am with. I just remember who I am with. I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about that. Let me show you something. If you ever come to a, an intersection and the light was out, or oh, they had a little accident there, and there was an officer there that come out there and he's standing in the roadway. The light is red. So I don't know y'all seen it that much. But the officer says, come on through. The light is red. But because the officer is there, I'm allowed to come on through. Call is a stop. Life sometimes, you just need to stop. But you know what God said? Come on through. Come on through, I got you. Come on through. Ah, you can make it, come on through. I'm with you. Why? I remember who I was with. Verse 6 says, uh, so we can boldly say, the Lord is my shepherd. Don't you feel good when you know you got somebody to help you? Don't you feel good when you know whatever task you have, you got somebody to help you? Don't you feel good when you know I've got to do this, I've got to load this, I've got to put this over here. Uh, but I, I've got to help her. Help is on the way. Now, I just called my helper, and help is on the way. And when my help get here, you know what's going to happen? <laughs> I'm going to take care of this task when the helper get here. Big and bold and say, the Lord is my helper. I mean, how many of us have said that? The Lord is my helper. You don't understand. Uh, yeah, I do understand. I'm a peculiar person. The Lord is my helper. <laughs> you know what? You don't make it half as what you used to make. Well, that's true. But the Lord is my helper. I learned to do as much with my little as I was doing with my much. Somebody gonna catch that on the way to McDonald's. Let me say that again. I learned to do with my little. See, let me, let me say something right here. See, a blessed little is more than a bunch that's unblessed. Let me say that again. You're going to miss it. I said a blessed little is more than a whole bunch that's unblessed. He said, the Lord is my helper. What are you doing, now? Apostle, I'm trying to wake up Jesus because the Lord is my helper. Remember who you are. Remember who you're with. And then you need to remember your faith. Don't give in. Don't give in. Remember your faith. Faith of a mustard seed. Great faith can move mountains. Remember your faith. Don't let your faith grow weak. Don't let your faith grow tired. Uh, have a strong faith. And if you have a strong faith, uh, you'll know what to do when stuff happens. Well, well, <laughs> I like Mark 9, 23. He said, if you can't believe, if you can't believe, oh, what's going on right here? What to do when stuff happens? If you can believe, all things are possible to that person that believes. If you believe in God, it's possible. It can happen. If you believe in God, you, you, got, you, you know what you got to say? You know what? I know how it looks. I know how it seems. But I believe in God. <laughs> yeah. See, what you're doing, you, you, you're looking from a, uh, from a natural view. You're looking through a natural window. You're not looking through God's window. If you look through God's window, you will see something <laughs> a whole lot different. When you look through your window, you say, oh man, this is not, this doesn't look too good. This doesn't look too well. But when you look through God's window, he said, you know what? Uh, I see a sunshine. I see a little bright light.
changing hand. You got to remember your faith. Oh man, Noah had faith in God. That's why he kept telling the sons, you know what? God said it was going to rain. And I can see the old man going back and just sitting down. And the boy said, Dad is acting peculiar. Something is wrong with him. We haven't seen no rain. We all appear in the ark. And then, yeah, the next morning, they went and they swung open the, uh, the portal. And they looked out. And the Bible said, there was a cloud by the side of a man's head. <laughs> yeah, they ran back to the father. Said, Father, you know what? You were right. You were right. <laughs> but the old man held on to the faith. You, you hold on to your faith. Remember your faith. I know what we're going through right now. But remember your faith in God. Hold on to your faith in God. It's going to be all right after a while. Hold on to your faith. Yeah. It may get kicked around and it may get beat up sometimes. It may get a little small sometimes. But hold on to your faith. Uh, well, this is what you do uh, when stuff happens. Remember who you are. Remember who you with. Uh, and remember your faith. Uh, you know what? I'm marching on anyhow. I'm going on through with Jesus. Uh, time is filled with swift transition. But don't make no difference what time gives you. Just hold on to God's unchanging hand. And he too will come uh, to your rescue. Hold on, children. I guarantee it. He'll come through for you. And this is what to do when stuff happens uh, that you have no control over. Stuff just happens. Remember who you are. I'm God's child. Remember who you're with. I'm with Jesus. And remember your faith. I got faith of a mustard seed. I just keep on believing. I'm peculiar. People call me crazy. They say I'm silly, but I just keep on believing. Because I know God will make sure you come through. Just keep on believing. Just keep on believing. That's what you do when stuff happens. And you know what? God will come to your rescue. God will come to your rescue. Just keep on believing. Keep on knowing who you are. Keep on knowing who you're with. God will surely come to you, your rescue. And this is what to do when stuff happens. Y'all be blessed. And we love you.